So the Oklahoma Sooners coaching search has reportedly zeroed in on a name, and it's not a name that is super surprising, but one that I think would be a solid hire, and we need to talk about it. But before we do, as always, y'all know the drill. I want to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Are you excited at the prospect that Brent Venables could be the next head coach at Oklahoma? And let me know what you're thinking. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoyed this content, be sure to like and comment down below. Those interactions are massive to content creators such as myself and both getting picked up and maintained by the YouTube algorithm. But with all that being said, let's talk about this because the Oklahoma Sooners faced an incredible situation just a week ago when Lincoln Riley announced that he would not be returning to the Sooners and in fact he would be starting as the next head coach of the USC Trojans. A lateral move but an incredibly stunning lateral move when you look at where Oklahoma was, how close they were to being able to get where Lincoln Riley had ultimately envisioned them going and then where he went. USC is a great program but they have a rebuilding process ahead of them where OU didn't. OU was much closer. But that put the Sooners in a precarious position because now they were in a coaching search with National Signing Day, or at least early National Signing Day, only a few weeks away. But reports have surfaced that Oklahoma has reportedly zeroed in on a name, and as I asked in the opening question, Brent Venables looks to be that guy. Now, this is a hire that's not incredibly surprising, and it actually makes a whole lot of sense. Brent Venables having a history with the Sooners is a name that just adds up, especially when you look at the kind of culture they're wanting to culminate, and they're really trying to find more of a defensive identity. And when you look at that reasoning alone, he has Oklahoma ties, he has ties to Bob Stoops, and probably most overall, he's a brilliant defensive mind. And I mean, we just need to look at the defenses he's orchestrated at Clemson. He's a great recruiter. He gets great talent in at those Clemson defenses, but then he also produces some top tier defenses. So this is a name that I think you'd be very excited about if you are an Oklahoma fan. Now, as far as who the offensive coordinator and defensive coordinators are, that right there remains to be seen. There's a lot of chatter about Jeff Lebby, the offensive coordinator for Ole Miss, who also has Oklahoma Sooner ties. I think that'd be a slam dunk hire as well. Joe Brady was just fired by the Panthers today, so you already know his phone's going to be ringing off the hook, and if you're Oklahoma, why not? The guy had a great experience at LSU, so why not just go ahead and give him a call? On the defensive coordinator side of things, I'm not as worried about the defensive coordinator, and I'm not even saying I'm worried about the offensive coordinator just because of the names that have been mentioned in these articles as being guys that the Sooners would like to bring in, such as Levy. And there's even been mention of Joe Brady. Now, whether that happens or not, who knows? That seems like it'd just be a wishful thinking. But it would be a great hire and something to absolutely check out now that he's on the market. I mean, it'd just be a waste not to. So the Sooners are in an interesting position, and this is something I'm very excited to see get finalized, but right now I kind of just wanted to talk about where we are in this coaching process. We're all just waiting for the white smoke to emerge, and it seems like the name will be Brent Venables, but there's a lot of different names that have been thrown out over the past week, and a lot of those guys would be good fits. I just think Brent Venables would be a unique fit amongst them all, and I think he's someone who could galvanize that institution right now. And that is something. Look, Oklahoma, all names mentioned, are good coaches. They know football, so you're going to get a good coach. But you also need somebody who's going to galvanize that room, who's going to galvanize that institution because of how they were just done by Lincoln Riley. Remember what I said in the live stream, which, by the way, happens tomorrow at 5.30 Standard Time. Hope to see you there. We've got some very special guests that I think you're going to enjoy, and it's just going to be a great time. But as I said on last week's live stream, it's not that Lincoln Riley left. Coaches leave for other jobs all the time. It's not that Brian Kelly left. They leave for jobs all the time. It's that they did that to the institutions that they did. Oklahoma and in Brian Kelly's regard, Notre Dame. We just don't see that. Those are institutions that have coaches stay there for extended periods of time. So seeing a coach willfully spurn them, it's a little bit interesting. But it gets us into this conversation we're having right now. So let me know what you think about Brent Venables, because to me, it's a hire that just absolutely makes sense from a Sooners perspective. But I'm very interested in hearing from y'all, not only about Brent Venables, about the offensive coordinator, about the defensive coordinator. By the way, I think OU should look at Moffitt, who LSU just let go for some inexplicable reason, at the strength and conditioning coach. That's been an area where Oklahoma has thought about upgrading, or at least a lot of Oklahoma fans have said for a while they would like
like to upgrade, and I think Moffitt would be a phenomenal hire. So that's a name I'd keep an eye on. But we're going to revisit this once things are made official. I just kind of wanted to put my two cents into the air. This is nothing at all official, just my opinion. So we'll talk about it later, but I'm very interested in hearing from y'all in the meantime. So hop down and let me know. That's it. See ya.